Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, thanks for checking out my video. Uh, so today I thought we will continue our lessons on solo techniques uh, by looking at the major pentatonic scale. So really the next step in your musical journey in regards to scales and improvisation following the minor pentatonics. Uh, however, I would say it's really up to you which one you would like to learn first. Uh, to be honest, there is no real right and wrong with which order you learn scales in. Uh, if you prefer the major sound, go for the major. If you prefer super dirty minor sounds, have a look at Locrian. Uh, although you may find that pretty difficult to use over anything. Uh, but basically, the decision is entirely up to you. Go with whatever sounds best to your ears. Uh, anyway, the uh, major pentatonic has a distinct happy or, uh, or pleasant sound. Um, to me, even sometimes soulful. Uh, and you may recognise the sound from a lot of pop, rock uh, or country music, uh, as well as other styles. Uh, one shining example of major pentatonic, uh, to me at least, uh, is probably in Britpop. Uh, most notably in songs like Live Forever or Don't Look Back in Anger by Oasis. Uh, now this may just be because I grew up in England uh, and I remember hearing these a lot when I was younger. Uh, although Noel Gallagher does switch a little between major and minor pentatonic scales in a lot of songs, uh, I would say that his lead lines in these songs definitely sound way more major. Um, another really good example uh, is if you're into John Mayer, um, the song Waiting for the World to Change, which is written in D major, uh, that uses the same major sort of sound in the solo. Um, now, he probably puts an extra note or two in that solo, uh, which is a really, really good example of how to inject some different and fresher sounding notes in between your pentatonics. Um, but overall, the sound sticks fairly close to uh, major pentatonic. And we're only going to be focusing on that today anyway. So, uh, both major and minor are really useful, sc useful scales and can be played over a lot of different contexts. Uh, however, I would probably say the major pentatonic can be a little trickier to fit sometimes. Uh, ultimately, it really depends on the style of music or chord progression you're playing over. Uh, whereas to me, minor pentatonic will work over almost anything. Uh, the one major thing to avoid with this scale uh, is minor chord progressions and I will explain why. Um, now don't get me wrong, there are definitely some people out there who go for this and can indeed pull it off. Um, I've seen videos of BB King playing major pentatonic over the Thrill Is Gone, which is a B minor blues. Uh, however, there is only one BB King and in my eyes, BB King could do whatever the hell he wanted and I wouldn't care at all. <laughs> um, so once again, as discussed in the minor pentatonic video, penta equals five. So we're looking again at a five note scale. This time, obviously major though. Uh, if we begin again with our seven or eight note major scale, uh, whichever way you want to refer to it, uh, we'll do this with C this time, as there are no sharps and no flats in the C major scale. Uh, we have C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. Uh, now this time, instead of removing the second and the sixth degrees, like we did with the minor, uh, we will remove the fourth and the seventh. Uh, this leaves us with C, D, E, G, A, and C, which is our scale. Uh, now, as you can see, in this scale we have C, which is our root, E, which is our third, and G, which is our fifth. Uh, these are the same notes we put together to make our C major triad, or chord. So essentially, if the band is playing a C major chord, or the song we are playing in is in the key of C, major pentonic, or C major pentonic, will work. Uh, it might sound a bit funny when you get to the diminished triad or the half diminished seven, um, but that's not exactly a commonly used chord, and again, we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves. So, uh, the second and the sixth are also within the major scale and give a suspended or melancholy sort of sound, uh, which leans or wants to resolve back to the notes in the triad. 
Uh, when we play blues, more often than not, all chords in the progression are dominant seven chords, uh, which is the triad again with just one extra note added, the flat seventh. Uh, now, we're not playing any seventh in major pentonic at all, meaning there is nothing that will clash with the flat seventh. So major pentonic will work there again. Uh, however, when we play a C minor chord or any minor progression, we build our first chord uh, using one different note, which is the flat third. In this case, E flat. Uh, this is really the main reason why the scale will not work over a minor chord. Uh, the chord is using a flat third, while the scale has the major third. Um, by all means, feel free to try it out. It sounds terrible. Uh, if we want to get even more technical, uh, the natural minor scale also uses a flat 6, uh, although that note may not be in the root chord, uh, whether we are playing a triad or a seventh, uh, it is implied. And also, any time that note comes up in another chord in the progression, uh, it's going to create the same clash we were talking about with the major third and the flat third. Um, both the second and the fifth are actually fine. We can totally play those notes if we want, uh, as they are in the natural minor scale as well. Um, anyway, I hope that makes sense. Uh, if it doesn't right now, uh, don't worry too much. In time, it definitely will. Um, okay, so I think that's probably enough talking about what doesn't work. Uh, let's get on to these shapes, and then you guys can start experimenting and work out what works for yourselves.